Hi everyone, this is Mohammad Sharad and in this tutorial of Start Pro, we are going to learn how to create a rectangular plate with a square opening in it. So let's take an example. We have a rectangular plate of dimension 20 meter by 10 meter having a square opening 4 meter by 4 meter in the center of it. So first of all, let's mark the coordinates of all the edges. So the first coordinate is the origin 00, zero second 0, 010, third 2010 and fourth 20 comma 0. Now let's mark the coordinates for the square opening. So starting from here, that is 8 comma 3, 8 comma 7, 8 plus 4 that is 12 comma 7 and then 12 comma 3. Now to model this plate in Stat Pro, follow the procedure. Start a new project. Select space, give a final name. Let's write down the name as rectangular plate. With square opening. The default dimensions we are going to use is meters only. Click next, use add beam option, finish. Let me fit the windows. So let's select and on one side I'll run the AutoCAD window and the second side I'll run the Start Pro window. So to start modeling the plate in Start Pro, go to geometry, run structure wizard. Under model type, select truss model and select surface plate model. Select polygonal plate with holes. Now, the moment you select polygonal plate with holes, it will give you a default uh, plate element with a circular opening. So currently, we don't want a circular opening, we want a rectangular opening. So in this case, just right click, change the property, select the hole and delete it. Come to boundary. Now, here what I want to define is the boundary of the plate. So in our case the dimension is 20 meter by 10 meter and we just want to use x and y coordinate. There is no use of z coordinate in this case. So let's start. The first point here you see is 0, 0, 0 which represents the where is the origin located. So in our case the origin is at 0, 0, 0. Now starting the first coordinate that is 10, 0, 0. It means this represents the top left corner. So whenever you start creating the boundary, the first row will be representing the top right corner and then you need to follow the clockwise direction. So in this case, x will be 10, y will be 0. In the second case, as here if you can see, it will x will be 20 and y will be 10. So let's put x as 20, y as 10. Now coming to the third coordinate which is this one, 20 comma 0. So come to 20 comma 0 and the last point that is here which will end up as origin itself. I think we made a mistake here. So here we need to make it the first point itself will be 0 and y will be 10. The rest will be 20, 10, 20, 0 and 0, 0. So here we finished our boundary. Now what we need to add here is a rectangular hole or a square hole. So for that select hole, add a new hole. Now here it gives you three options to create a polygonal hole, to create a circle hole, to create a elliptical hole. In our case we need to create a square hole so we need to select the option polygon. Now as I explained you in the First, in the case of boundary, the first row represents the origin. Now take care, in our case, the origin for this rectangle or for this square represents as 8, 3. From here, we will start measuring our coordinates or all the dimensions. So let's mark the origin as 8, 3. 
3 for the square now as I told you we need four coordinates select the first coordinate now this coordinate represents the top left corner which will be 8 comma 7 add the second one which will be the top right corner 12 comma 7 add another coordinate or another row this will be bottom right corner 12 comma 3 the last row represents 8 comma 3 once all the dimensions are entered click OK maximize the screen and here you can see your rectangular plate with a square opening is already is being created to import this model in stat pro you can go to file merge model with stat pro model and click yes click ok and here you can see the rectangular plate with the square opening is created thank you for watching the video see you in my next session thank you